Welcome. So what we're going to do today uh, is a couple things. We're going to have a strength EMOM that's core focused, so equipment you'll need. Um, something soft to lie on if you have a yoga mat or a towel or if you're fine with hardwood floors or whatever, that's fine too. Um, but that might feel nice because we're going to spend some time on our backs and also on our wrists. Um, for modifications, if you have sore wrists or just being on your hands hurts, you can always sub with this for wrists, so knuckles down, or you can always go to your elbows. Um, but know that we will be doing a lot of core work, so we might need a mat. For our workout today, we're going to be doing two rounds for time, and we've got, looks like I'm counting really fast, six different movements. So we're going to have some jumping. So if you have a jump rope or if you have access to jumping outside or jumping inside, um, you might want a jump rope or something to tap um, your feet to. We'll also be doing some lunges, push-ups, air squats, sit-ups, and burpees. So for push-ups, if you need to elevate, you can always grab a couch, a chair, something to push up to. Um, you can always modify also by going down to your knees, being in a, a plank position from your knees. Um, and as always, if you are someone who needs to modify air squats, like if getting all the way down to the bottom of the squat doesn't feel good for you, you can always grab bench or a chair, squat down to a chair. Same thing with burpees. If bringing yourself all the way down to the ground doesn't work for you for a burpee, you can always find your object tap your object, jump back, jump back in. Cool. So I'll let folks gather anything they might need. Always, always make sure you have hydration and a nice water bottle near you. I got the playlist queued up in the chat box if you would like to listen to music. If not, that's okay too. Can you drop that in the chat one more time? Yeah. Thank you. So find yourself in a standing position. If you want to just do some gentle, sh gentle shoulder rolls, you can start there. I just got to get the. Yeah. If you want to incorporate some breathing with this, you can take a big deep breath in as your shoulders come up. Exhale, let those arms fly down to your side. start to make those rolls just a little bigger. So you want to bring your elbows, shoulders, elbows up and back. Bigger and bigger until you're making some circles. And then let's go ahead and reverse course. So shoulder rolls, opposite direction, elbows up, opposite direction, and then nice big arm rolls. And then the next time our arms are up overhead, we're actually going to reach forward to the ground and then roll our arms back up to a stand and then roll back down. You want to pause up at the top for a little bitty back bend and then roll back down. Feel free. Reach 
jump one more time, and then the next time we come down to the ground, we're gonna plant our hands. Neither step or hop back to a plank. Then from here, we're gonna drop our knees down. We're gonna warm up our wrists a little bit. So um, these movements are kind of funky. So always, always listen to your body. Uh, we're gonna start with some little wrist circles. So I'm gonna plant my hands on the ground, pads of my fingers, heel of my hand on the ground, fingertips rooted in. We're just gonna do some little circles, feeling that weight transition into the pads of our fingers, all the way back to the heel of our hand. I'm gonna do five in one direction. Two, three, four, and five. We're gonna reverse course, five in the opposite direction. One, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna pause in our cat cow position or our tabletop. This time I'm gonna incorporate my wrists and my elbows. So this one can be kind of tricky. Normally, if you have your wrists down and your front of your arm is showing, we're just gonna twist our elbow open. So you're gonna see the armpit of your elbow or elbow pit flash open and then back. Let's do five, three, two, one. And then we're gonna open up our elbow pit, bring our elbows back like a little puppy dog and then flash our elbows around, push away. So elbows back to knees, out to the side, push up. Yeah, good. Let's do three more. One, two, and three. Back up to that tabletop. From here, I'm gonna tuck my toes into the ground, lift my knees up and off, and then press my hips up and back into a down dog. Pedal out heel here, if you feel if that feels good. We'll find a moment of stillness. It's okay if your heels don't reach the ground now or ever, it's not a big deal. We're gonna reach our right toes up into the air into a three-legged dog. If you wanna do a little circle here with your knee, that might feel nice. The next time you point your toes up, we're gonna bring our shoulders forward, knees into chest, plant that foot in front of you. Coming on up into a crescent lunge or upright lunge. If you need to drop that back knee, that's okay. I'm going to keep mine up, but you can always modify by dropping down. We're going to reach up and then push all the air out, bring our arms behind us. Reach up. I'm going to do this three more times. Big deep breath in as you reach up. Exhale as you come back. Last one, reach up. And as we push that air out, we're gonna drop that back knee, hand comes to the ground. Our middle hand is gonna reach up to the sky, twist open, trying to twist that chest all the way open to the side, rib cage all the way over the side, and then reach back down for those opposite fingertips. Just some gentle twists here. We're gonna do three more. One, two, and three. Plant both those hands. If you need to shimmy back to down dog however you want, I'm gonna press my hands in the ground, knee comes up, back to a plank, and then back to that down dog. Breath here. We're gonna reach up with our opposite toes this time. I'm on my left toes. Gentle circles if that feels good. Trying to press those hands into the ground. Next time you point up, you're gonna bring that knee into your chest, drop that foot in between your hands, up into a crescent lunge. Reaching up nice and big, push that air back, arms come behind you. Four more times. One, two, three. Reach up for four. As we push back, we're gonna bring our hands down, 
knee down, twist open for one, two, three, four, and last one, five, open up. This time, instead of pressing back to a plank, we're gonna step that back foot up to a squat. And let's do just 10 regular air squats. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Shake it all up. Good. Okay, we're gonna get started with our strength imam. So you'll need your yoga mat. This is gonna be an imam. Every minute on the minute. So at minute zero, I'm gonna say three, two, one, go. We'll have 40 seconds of work and then 20 seconds of rest. So if you are someone who um, may need to adjust the times at all, that's fine. I'm gonna be holding a movement for 40 seconds. You can always drop down, do 30 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever you need to do. Um, cool, makes sense to folks? Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate the movements. Some of these are a little tricky for me, <laughs> so if you wanna give me some grace. The first one is gonna be a back bend, um, and we're gonna start that in the glute bridge. So what I'm gonna do is bring my heels to my butt, pin my shoulders into the ground. Hands are gonna be at my side for now. I'm gonna press my heels into the ground, bring my hips up and even. So this might be where you land, and that's totally great. If you can do that back bend, you're gonna bring your hands behind you and then press into a back bend. And hold here. To get out, you're gonna bring your shoulders back down. Cool? So let's have everyone try that movement, either a glute bridge into a back bend or just a glute bridge. Good. Nice job. Good. Can you try to keep your feet flat or can your toes be pointed? Does it matter? Your toes can be off the ground. That's your fine. Heel. Right. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks. Yep. Yeah. Heels stay on the ground. Toes can be slightly off. Yeah. Cool. Next movement is going to be a front lever. A front lever is essentially a plank, but what we're trying to do here is focus on holding ourselves in a hollow position. So our shoulders are going to be slightly forward of our hands. So in a normal plank, my shoulders and wrists and elbows are all stacked. In a front lever, I'm gonna come onto my toes, gently pull my shoulder blades apart. Shoulders come slightly forward of fingertips. A regular plank is fine here. Also, if you wanna try that front lever movement, so I'm pulling my shoulder blades apart, finding that hollow position, I can always drop down to my knee, hold that same position. Make sense to folks? Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. Okay, cool. Minute three is gonna be a hollow hold or a tuck hold. So I'm making a little crescent moon. Here in the hollow, what I really want you to focus on is trying to keep your core nice and tight. So I'm bringing my shoulders off the ground, but I'm not just wrenching them up. I'm thinking about reaching out with both my toes and my hands and then squeezing everything together. So squeezing my glutes tucking my core down. Always a tuck hold is fine here too. Then lastly, minute four is a handstand. If that's accessible for you, if you have a clear wall, that's awesome. If you don't, you can always modify this with a box. So finding a box or a bench or a chair or a couch, bringing your toes on top. Starting in a plank, walking your way up, holding like this. You can also find a nice heavy weight. Pull that heavy weight overhead. Cool. 
So minute one is back bend or glute bridge. Minute two is that front lever. Minute three is a hollow. Minute four is a handstand. Sound good? All right. We've got 12 minutes on the clock, starting with that back bend. Well, can you call out time for the um, first hold? Be you bet. Thank you. You bet. All right. Starting in 10. Three, two, one, and go. Halfway through. Woo! Ten seconds left. This is an interesting feeling. Three, two, one. Gently come out. Rest for 20 seconds. Next is that front lever. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. Holding for 40, or if 40 doesn't work for you, you can always adjust and modify. Halfway. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job, buddies. We've got that hollow hold next, or tuck hold. All right, we go in five. Three, two, one, and go. Halfway. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Handstand hold or heavy weight hold is next. In ten seconds. All right, here we go. In three, two. One, here we go. Remember, you can always put your feet up on an object, do that same handstand hold, or hold a weight overhead. And rest. I think I read that right, did I? Oh no, five seconds, sorry. <laughs> Can't read upside down. Two, one, rest. It's okay. All right, two more rounds. Starting with that glute bridge hold or back bend. In five, four, three, Two, one, and up. Half. 
halfway through. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Gently come up. Next is our front lever in 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Another way to do this is always elevation too. If you have that, I'll demonstrate that really quick. So really pulling my shoulder blades apart. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. Hollow hold is next. Hollow hold or tuck hold. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. Halfway. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, handstand is next. I'm going to go off screen to the other wall so I can actually see the clock. Trust me, I'm doing it. In three, two, one, and up. Pressing those hands into the ground. gotten upside down in a while. All right, last round in three, two, one, and up. Ten, 20 seconds left. Halfway through. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and out. Front lever is next. I'm going to demonstrate again with the modification of elevation. You can always do knees two, three, two, one, and go. Try to come up onto those toes, pull those shoulder blades apart, really find that hollow position.
15 seconds left. You're doing great. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Two movements left. Our hollow hold and our handstand hold. You got this. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Remember, you can always hold it a tuck. Our toes out, toes can be up. Halfway through. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Just one handstand hold left, my friends. Woo! You got it. Again, I'll be off screen so I can see the clock, but we start in five, four, three, two, one, and up. Keep pressing those hands into the ground. Push your shoulders away from your ears. jumping implement if you're going to use a jump rope. Sorry, that was probably really loud. Um, or if you're going to be doing jumping jacks, just clear a space. Also, you'll need space to do walking lunges. How about I just walk through the whole workout? Sound good? Cool. I'm going to tie my shoes quick. So we've got two full rounds the 13 minute time cap. I'll have the clock going here for 13 minutes. You have 60. Did I write that wrong? I think I wrote that wrong. Look at waterfall really quick. Boop, boop, boop. Today's walk. There it is. Okay. So it's going to be two rounds, 20 double unders. So a double under, you've got the rope, pass them underneath you twice. You can also do single unders here. So the rope passing underneath you once. You can also do jumping jacks. You can do jump steps, or shoulder taps in plank. So folding that plank position, bringing hands up. 20 reps each, then 30 walking lunges. So coming down into a lunge position, heel drive, front heel driving through, back knee can gently tap or kiss. You can also hover and walk. Or you can do lunges in place, so just stepping back to a full stand. If you're doing those walking lunges, you want to come up to a full stand in between. 40 push-ups. So finding a point of elevation or the ground. Doing chest to your implement, elbows behind you. Press away. This can also be done from the knees. 30 air squats, we practiced these earlier, bringing 
but in between your knees, popping all the way up. Important here to keep your heel and toes on the ground as you squat. Then 20 sit-ups. You have an ab mat, use that. Bringing shoulders behind me, touching the ground. Uh, fingertips in front of me, touching the ground. Bringing chest all the way up. And then 10 burpees. These can be stepping or jumping burpees. I'm gonna start by placing my hands on the ground, step or jump back, hands in between, or sorry, chest in between my hands, come right back up. Wait, did you That's say a lot? Or 10. 20 burpees? 10, okay. Ten burpees. So 20 jumps, either doubles, singles, jumping jacks, shoulder taps, 30 lunges, walking or in place, 40 push-ups, 30 air squats, 20 sit-ups, 10 burpees. We're gonna do all of that two times with a time cap of 13 minutes. As always, modify as you need to. Does anyone have any questions? I'm sorry, it was air squats, 30 and 20 what? Sit-ups. Yep. Coach, do you have a suggestion for a modification on lunges? Uh, you or can always do split squats. Okay. So feet divided, bringing knee down, however much you need. These can be like pulses, so just trying to keep your hips square and bring your knee down. If you can bring your knee all the way down, great. If not, you can always pulse like this. Can you win for the uh, lunges, one is one? Yes. Okay, thank you. Yep. All right, buddies. I'm going to set the clock. All right. And I'll call out the movements as we go. I'll be going at my own pace. So if you're ahead or behind me, that's totally fine. All right, are we ready? Starting in 10 with our jump rope. Starting with 20. Three, two, and go. Here we go. 20 total. Three, two, one. I'm switching to walking lunges, 30. These can also be in place. Shake it out when you need to and keep going. Oh yeah. On to push-ups. We've got 40 push-ups. Nice job, everybody. You got this. Just gotta get 
get to those sit-ups. Nice job, buddies. Nice job, team. 30 sit-ups when you get there. Or sorry, air squats is next. 30 air squats. My bad. Trying to get nice and upright, keep that chest up. Sit-ups are next. We got 20 sit-ups. You got this team. Ten burpees are next. You can always do traditional burpees. Bring your chest down to the ground. You can always step back. Just bring your plank between your hands. Stepping back. Stepping forward. You can always modify with a sprawl. So sprawl. Bring your hands to an object. Jumping out and back in. Stepping out and back in. Stepping out and back in. Out and back in. Out and back in. Whatever you need to do. We got this. And we start it all over again. Looking good, team. You got this. All the way back up to the top with 20 jumps. to 30 walking lunges. Nice job, team. Looking good, looking good. Here we go. Woo! Nice job, nice job. Oh, yeah. Nice job, team. Woo! Yeah. Forty push ups once you get there.
You got this. Oh yeah. Nice job, nice job. Woo! Doing what you can, you got this. Nice job, team. Nice job. Two minutes left. Ten burpees to finish it off. Few reps, you got this. Sixty seconds. Here we go, buddies. You got this. Woo! Doing so great. Plenty of time to finish. Nice job, nice job. 
15 seconds. 10. Three, two, one. Done, nice job. I'm gonna do some Sphinx, which is our mobility for the day. She'll come down to your chest. Either hands under shoulders or elbows. Elbows will bring you up to your traditional Sphinx. If you feel like you need more, you can always press all the way up into seal. I'm gonna spend about two minutes here. Taking those nice big long inhales. Nice long exhales, letting it all out. Letting that heart rate come down slowly. Another pose would feel good. I'm gonna be here for about 60 more seconds in Sphinx, but you can always switch to whatever you need. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Of course. Thank you.